Good morning guys, welcome to your total sports class here with myself, Warwick Cross and Sita. Today we are doing a cycling strength um, and mobility class. If this is the first time that you're joining us, welcome. I'm quickly going to chat you through what you need for the class and how the class is going to work. And then, of course, we are going to get cracking. So, for the class today, if you do have bands with you at home, you will need bands. I have two bands with me. I have one medium strength and one light band. If you don't have bands, don't worry. I will show you how to do the exercise without your bands. And you are going to need a step or a chair as well with you. Okay? Finally, if you have a weight at home or a 5 litre water bottle, that would be perfect. You need that as well for the class. So, while we get started on the warm up, if you don't have those things close to you, grab them. Otherwise, we are going to get cracking with the warm up. Once we finish the warm up, we're going to go into the first set of exercises, and that's three exercises. We're then going to go into the next three, and then the final three is based on core. Okay. So it's a 45 minute class, let's get ready, we are starting now. So the first warm up exercise, you are going to be lying on your back, okay? Your legs are out, are out in front of you and your arms are out to the side. From there, you are crossing the leg over, stretching out the lower back, rolling over, over to the other side. Okay, nice and simple, let's just get the body moving on this chilly Wednesday morning. Okay, we're going to be doing 10 of these, so you guys can start. We are going for our first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Alright, next up. Okay, you're still going to be lying on your back. The only difference is you're going to place one, an uh, one ankle on the opposite knee. So you make a four shape with your leg. So if you look at me from this angle, okay, my knee is bent, my ankle is on my knee. Okay, from there, lying flat on your back, you grab behind the knee, pull into your chest. Let your legs go forward, roll up, and reach forward. You want to keep the knees straight when you reach forward. As you roll back, you change feet so the other foot is on the knee. Pull into the chest, up, roll forward. Okay, so we're going to be doing 10 of those. It's really important, guys. We still are a little bit stiff. Some of you may have just woken up. So don't try to reach as far as you can yet. Let's build into the first 10 reps, okay? So, lying on your back, ready to start, ankle on the knee, pull into the chest, up, rolling forward, one, two, good, three, remember, just ease into it, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and last one, guys. Ten. Awesome. Okay, your next warm up exercises. You guys should start feeling like you're getting a little bit warmer. Okay, it's starting to wake up a little bit. Your next exercise, you're going to be in a kneeling position. You are then going to bring one foot forward. Okay, so you don't want it to be 90 degrees in the knee. You want the foot to be more forward. So if you look at it from the side, okay, my foot is not over here. My foot is more forward in this position. So there's a smaller angle in my knee. All right. From there, keep the torso nice and straight. So don't lean forward. Don't lean back. And just push the hips forward, stretching out this hip flexor as you go down into the stretch. All right. Then you're coming up to the middle. Take the foot out at 45 degrees, from there, stretch out, you're going to feel that stretch go more into the groin, there we go, come up to the middle, finally out to the side, okay, stretch out, feel open the groin, back to the middle, right, that's the first set, we're going to be doing three on each leg, okay, so you guys can come with me, 
So remember, foot further forward than you would for a lunge. Yeah, going forward into the stretch. We are going down. Feel that hip flexor open. Back to the top. Out to 45 degrees. Yeah. Remember, when you go out at 45 degrees, you want to keep your hips facing straight. So I'm not turning my body to face my knee. I'm keeping my hips facing you guys. You guys are keeping your hips facing me. Okay? And that's the knee is the only thing moving in that direction. And that will ensure that you start to open up a little bit in the groin. Okay? So from here, then out to the side. Keeping those hips straight. Keep facing me. And up to the top. Alright. We're going for number three now. So from here... Going forward, stretching it out. Okay, feel those hips start to open out at 45 degrees. Good. Up to the top and out to the side. Keep those hips facing me. Okay, this one's a little bit uncomfortable for some of you. There we go. Okay, that's three. So obviously, we're just swapping legs. What we do to the one side, we do to the other side. Okay, so foot forward. Yeah, we are now stretching this hip flexor. So if I was stretching my left hip flexor, I'm now stretching my right hip flexor. Going forward into the stretch. Okay, remember you're not leaning, you're not anything strange. Your torso is nice and upright. All you need to focus on is if you were having, a, as if you were having a conversation with someone in front of you. All right, opening up the hip. There we go. And now out to the side, keeping the hip straight. There we go. Good. Okay, two more on this leg. So foot forward, yeah, going out, open the hip. Yeah, this one should feel quite nice, especially for those of you that might have been riding quite a lot this week. Okay, maybe had a big weekend on the bike. This one will get the, open those hip flexors quite nicely. Good. And then out to the side. Good. Okay, remember, keep those hips facing me the whole time. Keep those hips nice and straight. Right, we're going in for our last one. Good, forward, up to the top, out to 45 degrees. That's it. And finally out to the side. Great. Awesome. Okay. Our next exercise, this is a similar exercise that we're going to be doing later on um, in the workout. So this is basically just to get the muscles thinking about what they have to do, okay, um, without the resistance. So it's your elevated donkey kicks. Now for this, okay, you're going to start on the ground in an, on all fours. So uh, my knees are under my hips, my hands are under my shoulders. From there, I'm just lifting both knees two centimeters off the floor. And when I say two centimeters, I really just mean a teeny tiny bit off the floor. Okay. So from here, lift two centimeters off the floor. Keep your back nice and straight, so no rounding of the back, okay? Then from there, kicking back with the one leg, bringing it back to the middle. All right, that is your donkey kick. We are going to be doing eight per leg, okay? Don't look up when you're doing the kicks. Look down, keep the head nice and neutral. I want you to really engage the core when you kick back. Think about kicking from the glute and the hamstring, so that's the back of the leg and the bum. Those are the muscles that you want to be straightening the leg out with. All right, okay. So from here, hands under the shoulders, we're lifting the knees, we're doing eight per leg. We're ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Good. Okay, we're going to swap sides, guys. Okay, how did that feel? You really feel the core start to kick in there, okay? Start to get a bit tough with that isometric hold, but you guys did great, I'm sure. Okay, so starting on the other side, okay, lift the feet, uh, the knees two centimeters off the ground. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Great job. Okay, great job, guys. Okay, starting to feel warm. The body's starting to warm up quite nicely now. Okay, our next exercise 
is what we call thread the needle. So for this one, you're still on your hands and knees. You're going to take one hand. You are going to pass through under the chest like this, behind the arm. So under the chest, behind the arm, you really want to reach as far as you can and try to get the shoulder as flat as you can on the ground. Okay? From there, open up to the top, come back down, threading through. Okay, this one is a stretch for behind the shoulder. Okay, so onto the back, behind the shoulder. Okay, so we're going to do five on each side. So we're going for one, two, three, <coughs> four, and five. Nice job. Okay, let's go on to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. All right, guys. Okay, feel the stretch going through the back there. Okay, starting to get a bit more mobile through the body. Our next exercise is a shoulder stability exercise. Your first one, we are going to do eight on our hands and knees. So you're going to be in this position. You are not bending the elbows. You are dropping down into the shoulders. So if, if this is a normal posture, a normal stance, okay, dropping down into the shoulders, which means my shoulder blades are coming together like that, okay. From there, you are then pushing all the way up, just with the shoulder blades. You'll notice as well, that when I drop down, I'm not just pushing my head forward, okay? Your head stays nice and neutral. We're going to be doing eight of those. I really want you guys to focus on feeling the shoulder blades move close together and pushing them as far apart as you can. So close together, as far apart as you can. Yeah, so in this position, drop down, push out, one. Two, three, four, good, five, my chest is going towards the ground, six, seven, eight, nice job guys, I'm sure you guys smashed that one, we're going to progress that one a little bit, okay, so that's just so get you guys understand the movement, now we're going to lift the knees off the ground, we're going to be in a push-up position, and we're going to be doing eight in a push-up position. Now remember, now we've got to control the core as well. So we can't let our hips drop in the push-up position, all right? We need to stay nice and straight through the body. So from here, okay, nice straight body. We're going one, two, three, four, five. Good, guys. Six. Chest towards the ground, seven, eight. Great job. Okay. That is for our shoulders. Our next exercise, you are going to start in a standing position. Okay. From here, keep the knees straight. So I'm not going to be bending my knees to get down. You are keeping your knees straight. You are bending down towards the ground. Walk the hands away from the feet, okay? Our next point is we walk our feet to our hands. I still haven't bent my knees. When you get to a point you can't go anymore, you walk the feet away from the hands and then the hands to the feet all the way to a standing position. We are doing four of those, okay? So, starting from here, okay, nice tall posture, not bending in the knees, we are going down, Walking the hands away. Okay. Walk the feet to the hands. Walk the feet away from the hands. And hands to the feet. Good. Okay, one. Down. Walk the hands away. Feet to the hands. Feet away. And hands to the feet. Good. Two, okay, we have two more, down, away, feet, feet, hands, okay, last one, 
down, away, feet, feet, hands. Great job. Okay. Almost there, guys, with our warm up. Hope you guys are starting to feel warm now. <clears throat> our next exercise you are going to go into a squat, up, open the hip, and back down with the foot. Okay? You are alternating legs, it's called a monster squat with a hip rotation. So we're going down, up, open. Ten, on each, uh, ten in total, so five on each side. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good guys, eight, this just gets the blood flowing a little bit, nine, ten, great, okie dokes guys, our last exercise, this is a control stability and control exercise so for this one I need you to have something you can hold on to you can use the back of a chair the edge of a couch anything that you have close to you all right if you really don't want to hold on to anything you don't have to hold anything either okay for this one you're going to place the stick out in front of you you are going to go into a dynamic hamstring reach so for that slight bend in the knee now straight back Going down into this position, keep the legs straight back behind you and my back is straight. From here, I am opening my hip to the side, whoops, yeah, using the stick to balance, then closing the hip, coming up to the top. Okay, so we are doing four on each leg. I'll do it from this side, yeah, so balancing, going down, yeah. Open the hip to the side, close up to the top. All right, you really need to focus on your balance so you can't look around too much in this one. Yeah, okay, focus on the balance, open the hip to the side, close up to the top. That's number two. Down, okay, balance, open, close up. Three. Okay, this one you should feel through the hamstring into the bum as well. We're going for one more. Down. Okay. Open. Close. Up. Good. We're going to be doing the other side now. Okay, so that was four on the one side. I really want you guys to focus on that stability in the hip. So as you open that hip to the side, Really rotate the hip, keep the back straight, keep the leg straight behind you. <clears throat> so we're going down, yeah? Opening the hip to the side, close, up, yeah? We're going down, open, close, up. Down, this is for number three, open, Close, up, going for number four, down, open, close, up. Good, well done guys. So that is your warm up done, okay? Well done to you guys. Let's get cracking with the fun stuff now. So if this is the first time you're joining us, I'll quickly run through what we're going to be doing for the first set of exercises. You are going to need your bands and you are going to need your step. All right, you don't need to have the weight for the first set, but keep it close. All right, how this works is we have three exercises. That exercise form, those three exercises form a set. We are going to be doing two sets, all right, and then we are going to move on to the next three exercises. So I will explain each exercise before we do it, and then we will complete it together. Ready? Cool. So for the first exercise, Please grab yourself your step, okay? Now this one is pretty easy to start off with, okay? It depends how much you've been doing in terms of your stability, 
Okay, this is your single leg. Sit to stand. For that, you are going to be standing in front of your chair. No weights, okay? It's about control, this one. I have one leg out in front of me. I'm standing on one leg, okay? From there, you can cross your hands across your chest, put them on your hips, above your head, however you want to hold your hands for this exercise, all right? You are going to control the movement down to a sit sitting position onto the chair behind you, all right? You are not falling into the chair at all. So I'll do it from the side for one, okay? So you are going to control down all the way into the chair. From there, you are going to stand up. I haven't put my other leg down, okay? We're doing eight reps. Okay, ready? Yeah, one leg out in front of you. You can start on whichever leg you like. We are going for one. Down and up. Two. So it's, you're not rushing this. Up. Three. As slow as you can. Up. Four. Good. Up. Remember guys, we're keeping the heel flat on the leg that we, we are standing on. So you're not allowing that heel to lift at all. Okay, keep the heel as flat as possible. Keep your weight back. Alright, we should be on about number seven. Up. Going for number eight. Up. Good. Okay guys, we are moving on to the other leg. I also want you guys to think about... When you're doing this exercise, your knee needs to stay in line with your second toe, okay? So you're not allowed to have that knee fall in when you are sitting down into the chair and especially when you are standing up, okay? You need to keep those knees in line with the toes. All right, we're going into your other leg now. Straight leg, we are going for one. Whoopsie. Okay. Two. Up, three, up, slowly down, four, good, up, going for five, good, six, nice job guys, keep the control, remember don't put the other foot down. Seven. And last one. Eight. Nice job. Well done, guys. Those were your single leg sit to stands. Okay, now we are going to be using your medium band. Okay, so for me, that is my black band. It's not the easy band. If you don't have a band, I want you guys to please take two dumbbells or two five liter water bottles. You need two weights for this one. I'm first going to show how we are going to do it with the band. So, these are your band resisted deadlifts. So, you're going to place a band on the ground and then step onto the band so that your feet are hip width apart. Okay? From there, place the hands through the band. So if you look, the band is around my wrists and then take the band on either side. Okay. So you're holding the band at your side. From here, you are keeping the back straight, okay? Feet stay hip width apart. You are hinging from your hip and your knee, okay? Your hips are traveling back, loading into the hamstrings, nice straight back the whole way, okay? From there, all the way up, okay? That is your band resisted deadlift. Now, if you don't have a band, you are going to take your dumbbells and the exact same process will apply. So holding the dumbbells at your side, you are going down, keeping the back straight, pull the shoulder blades back and up. Okay. So all you do differently if you have dumbbells or weights at your side is you just hold them at your side. Everything else is exactly the same as we will be doing with the band. Okay. Cool. So grab your bands guys. Let's get ready. We are doing eight reps of your deadlifts. Remember, that back is straight. Shoulder blades back. Ready? We're going down. One. Good. You should feel this in the hamstrings. Two. Three. 
two, three, four, do it from the side, five, good, six, seven, and finally number eight. Great job. Okay, remember when you get out the band, when you put your dumbbells down, you keep that back straight still. Okay guys, once you're done with that, you are going to need your light band. If you don't have a band at home, you are going to do this exercise without a band. Okay, so these are your elevated donkey kicks, but they're resisted. Obviously, if you don't have a band, you're not going to apply the resistance, so you are just going to be doing elevated donkey kicks. Okay, take the band in both hands and put it around one foot. Okay, so both hands around one foot. From here, go down onto your hands and knees. The band is still around my foot. Okay, I'll do it from the side so you can see. Yeah, the band is still around my foot and the band is around my hands as well. Now, exactly like we did in the warm up, you're, you are lifting your knees two centimeters off the ground. Yeah? From here, you are kicking back, coming back to the middle. Okay, so those are your elevated donkey kicks. We are going to be doing eight on each leg. It's really important that you focus on the control in this exercise. So we don't rush this exercise at all. You focus on the control completely. Okay, ready guys? So, <clears throat> so starting over here, okay, lift the knees, we are going for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now, nice sharp guys. Okay. If you did that correctly, you would feel that burning in the hamstring and in the glute as well. Okay. Remember not to lift your knees too high off the ground. Obviously now we are going to swap knees, uh, swap feet, okay? Everyone ready for their second set? Okay, lifting the knees off the ground. Ready, we're going for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. Great job guys. Okay, so that is your first set of exercises. We are going to be doing that set again. Okay, now I want you guys, you have an idea on what to do. So we are going to focus even more on the control through these exercises. Okay, so make sure that you are not losing the exercise control at any point through the movement. All right. Okay, yeah. so starting a single leg uh, sit to stand, eight per leg, everyone ready, leg in front of you, going down, one, two, three, good, four, remember guys those key points, Keep the knee in line with the toe. Keep your heel flat as you're going down, okay? And control that movement all the way into the chair behind you, okay? We should be on about number six, seven, eight. Good. Okay, going on to the other side. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six. Good, guys, keep it nice and strong the whole way. Seven. Last one. Eight. Good. Great job. Okay guys, we're going into our deadlifts. 
okay? Grabbing your band, okay? Or your dumbbells. Some of you may be using uh, free weights. Free weights just means a weight. That's not a band, okay? So just hanging at your side. Remember, the rules apply. Same rules as we've just completed, okay? So, feet hip width apart, hands through, grab on either side, straight back, all the way up. Okay, we're going for number, we're going for eight. Ready? One, keep the back straight, guys. Two. Three. Seven. Keep up with me guys, keep up. And number eight. Great job. Okay, I'm sure you guys did really well in that one. And now finally we're moving on to our donkey kicks. So that's your light band. If you didn't have a band, you obviously are not doing it with one. Okay, so band around the, under the foot. In each hand, going down onto the ground. Okay, we are starting. Ready? Okay. In three, two, one, eight per leg. Knees off the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Okay. Swapping legs, guys. Okay. Ready? Three, two, knees off the ground. One, let's go. One, two, if you guys are doing this properly, you're gonna be feeling the weight through the shoulders. Okay, you gotta stabilize through the shoulders, as well as when you kick back, okay? You're gonna feel the core work, okay? We should be on about number six, seven, eight. Good job. Okay guys, that's your first set of exercises. Grab some water. While you're getting some water, I'm gonna quickly tell you what you need for your second set. So we are going to be doing um, an eccentric side lunge. So you're gonna need a weight for that. We are gonna need a step again, or a chair, sturdy chair, because you're gonna be standing on it. If you don't have one, um, then you can use a small step as well. And then finally, a small weight, another weight. So a dumbbell, all the same weight that you used for your lunges, okay? Um, for a lunge and press exercise. Okay. So, our eccentric side lunges. Okay, this is 10 per leg. You're going to hold the weight up into your chest from here on one leg. You are then going to fall out to the side and control the movement. So from there, out, all the way up. Okay. We are doing 10 per leg there. As soon as we're done with that, you are going to get your step or your chair, okay? We are going to go into your lateral step overs, okay? So for this one, it's really important that you, have, you start on the side of the step, okay? And when you step up, you straighten the knee all the way and then over onto the other side. We are doing 20 of those. Finally, we are going into your lunge and press. So if my left leg is forward, I have a weight in my right hand, up, driving up above my head. So I'll do it from here, from the side, it's there, drive above your head. Okay, that we are doing 10 per side as well. Okay, so this one's gonna get the heart racing a little bit. That's good for us. Okay, so, Weights to the chest. We ready? Side lunges. For the side lunge, guys, you need to make sure that your heel is flat. So in this position, my heel is flat, okay? I am not lifting onto my toe. All right. Got it. Cool. Three, two, one. Ten per leg. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. Good. Let's go to the other side. Ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Guys, control with that leg. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, get your steps ready. We're going into our lateral step overs. So, twenty. Okay, ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Nice job. Grab your dumbbells, guys, for your lunge and press. Ready? One, two, three, four. Drive that knee forward. Five. Come, guys, keep up. Eight. Nine, ten, good. Okay. If you can't see me um, with my hand, my hand is going straight up to the ceiling. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Good work. Nice job, guys. That's your first set done. Okay, that one gets the heart racing a little bit. Okay, grab some water. Grab your breath. We're going to go in 20 seconds. We're starting with your side lunges. Remember, guys, in those side lunges, okay, you need to control with the leg. So as you fall to the side, control the momentum with that leg, keep the heel flat, the back straight, and then drive up, back to the middle. Okay. So starting into our chest, ready? 10 per leg, in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, Make sure you bend the knee. Five. Sit back onto the heel behind you. Eight. Nine. Finally, ten. Good. Swapping sides, right? Make sure that you're not just standing out to the side. Yeah? You have to be sitting back into that heel behind you. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, dokes, guys, your lateral step overs. Okay, we've got our steps nice and steady. Ready? Three. Two, one, over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. Lunge and press, guys. Ready? Should have your dumbbells close. Go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Other side. Okay, make sure you're stabilizing through the leg that's in the front. That's the leg that's working. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, 
nine, ten, good. And relax, guys. Well done. Awesome job. Okay, we're moving on to our core. Grab some water, though. You're going to need a towel or a mat in front of you. This will be our last set for the day. So we have three exercises. We're going to roll into them. The equipment you will need is a weight, okay? So a dumbbell, and that is it, okay? So our first exercise is our bicycle crunch. So lying on our back, okay? Hands behind the head. We're rotating opposite arm to opposite knee, okay? Then we are going to go into a side plank. As soon as we have finished that, so a side plank, reach through and open. We are doing 12 per side. Then finally, okay, in a push up position, okay, from here, grab the weight from the outside and pull it through. So remember, guys, you are pulling the weight, not pushing it, okay. So you need to pull it open, like you're trying to start a lawnmower or something. All right. Okay, three sets. We're rolling into each other. So as soon as you finish the one, you start with the next. We're starting with our bicycle crunches on our backs. Let's get ready. Hands behind the head. Ready. We're going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, halfway, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. On to the side. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oops, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, good, that one gets the side going, guys. I'm sure you felt it. <coughs> Other side, guys, we ready? Going up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, good. Into a push up position, the weight starting on one side of your body. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the hips still. Seven, eight, nine. So you don't want the hips to be moving around. So keep going, keep going. I don't want this happening in the hip. Okay? Keep the hips dead still the whole time. Okay, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome job. Okay, going into our bicycle crunches again, guys. We ready? Starting on your back. This is our last set, guys. Nice and strong. Let's end on a good note. Hands behind the head. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Side planks. Ready? Up you go, guys. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Other side. Okay, make sure that you don't fall over in your planks. Okay, stay nice and controlled in the hips. Keep the hips up. Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Good, guys, keep up. 
You guys can do it. Let's finish strong. 10, 11, 12, good. Okay, all we have to do now is your dumbbell pull throughs. Okay, push up position. Let's get ready. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, well done. Great job guys, that is it. We are gonna take a nice little stretch now. For that stretch, I'm gonna ask you guys to stand up first. You're gonna need your chair. Okay, starting with your hamstrings. Place one foot on the, on the chair in front of you. Lift the toe up. Slight bend in the knee, keep the back straight. We're hinging forward, so we're stretching out the hamstrings. Notice that I keep my back straight as I go forward, I push my hips back. Then you'll get the stretch in the hamstring. If you just flop over, you can go as low as you want, all right? You need to push the hip back, keeping the back straight. So almost imagine you wanna push your heel into the, the chair in front of you. Okay, we're going to hold that for another 10 seconds. Good. Let's relax. We're going to swap sides. Okay. Slight bend in the knee. Going forward, hinging in the hip. Well done, guys. It was a good workout today. Okay, had a basis of control. And we went into the more high intensity stuff. Those of you that have tired legs from the weekend or this week so far, you would have felt that a little bit more than the rest. But it's a good way to start your Wednesday, a good halfway through the week workout and relax. Okay, you can pull the chair away, guys. You are going to be using the mat now. Yeah? So from here, yeah? I want you guys to go in, into 90-90 position. Okay, now put your hands on your hips. Then tuck your index finger, so this finger, tuck it into your belly button. As soon as you tuck it, you might feel a stretch into the quad and then slightly lean forward into that. You're going to feel a stretch through the quad over here. So what I'm doing is I'm tucking my hips up. So I'm tucking my fingers into my belly button and reaching forward like that. Okay. Hold that for a second, for 20 seconds actually. All right guys, please let us know what your favorite exercise was in the comments. Let us know if there's an exercise that you really want to see in the class. Okay, and please guys, let us know if you, if you feel that the exercises are benefiting your riding. I'd love to hear from you guys on um, if you've seen any positive changes in your riding since you started your um, off the bike training and relax. We're going to swap sides. Okay, tuck and forward. There we go. So you're feeling this stretch into your hip flexor. So that's over here. Okay, going down into the quad. Remember, you guys should have tucked that hip up as you go forward. I'm not pushing. Uh, too far forward with the leg. I literally am just slightly leaning into it. That's where you should feel your stretch. And relax. Okay, we're gonna put place one leg out to the side now. Okay, so your ankle is in line with the knee. Now from here, you are just pushing the inside of the leg slightly down towards the ground. Okay, not too much. I just want you guys to feel a stretch. You don't have to feel like pins and needles or anything excessive. Just a stretch through the inside, okay? Something that you can still have a conversation with. You shouldn't be skewing up your face. 
Remember guys, recovery from your sessions is equally as important as the session itself, if not more. So as you are training, I want you guys to think about what you're going to do to recover. So you need to think about what, what methods you're going to employ to recover from that training session. So if you have a hard session on the bike or in the gym, yeah, you've got to let the body adapt to that. So equivalent rest. Here we go. Nice stretch through the inside of the leg. Let the heart rate drop a little bit. There we go. Okay, last stretch. You guys are going to place hands wider than your shoulders. Then you are going to sit back onto your heels behind you. Okay, just relax into the stretch. Stretch out the back. Yeah, so sit back, stretching out the back. Good. Okay, and slowly come up. Great job, guys. Thank you very much for the session today. I enjoyed having it with you guys. I hope you come back for more in the weeks to come. Okay? If you are perhaps a trail runner um, or a road runner, so an avid runner basically, or you just want to find out how to get a little bit stronger in your running, so you don't have to necessarily be elite, please join us tomorrow, same time, same place. You will be with my colleague, David Leith. He is an expert when it comes to uh, strength and conditioning for running. Okay, He's a runner himself, and he will definitely help you up your running game, whether that be for your 5K or your next marathon. Okay, So please join us uh, tomorrow in your living room for you. Um, same time, same place on Facebook with Total Sports. Until next week, I'm going to say goodbye. Enjoy your riding. Stay safe on the roads. And uh, have a good week further.